Let's look at volume. Surface area is the measure of the area of the outside surface space of a three-dimensional figure. Volume is going to be the amount of space inside of a three-dimensional figure. And volume is really best explored with cubes or something else that you can use to actually stack and make rectangular prisms. Um, but for right now, if you're doing this online, we're going to have to work through this um, this way. So to find the volume of a rectangular prism, you only need the three dimensions. And you're going to think of volume as filling a fish tank. It is the interior space of a three-dimensional figure. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the area of the base and multiply <laughs> excuse me, the base area by the height of the figure. And let's break this down and look at this a little bit closer. So you know that this is a rectangular prism. So it has a base and it has a height. So this is 14 feet across and two feet deep. So I want you to think about if this was broken into sections here and each block is a foot. So here's one foot, two foot. And then this one is going to be 14. And I am not promising that I'm going to be able to draw this <laughs> super straight, but we'll try. Okay, so now here we have seven across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we have eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is super messy, but you can see the bottom. If we think each one is a unit, think of these as cubes. And I will actually move this up a bit. It's running away from me here. Hold on. Okay. The reason I moved it up is so you could actually see that, you know, there's cubes here. Okay, so if you can imagine, this whole bottom here is filled with cubes. So if you have 14 cubes that go across and then two cubes that go deep, how many total cubes do you have on the bottom? Well, you would have 28 square feet on the bottom. Now, this also goes up six feet high. So think about this base layer being stacked on top of itself. So this base layer here being stacked on top of itself six times. So you have these 28 cubes here that are going to be stacked on top of each, each other six times. So if they were all stacked up, you would have 168 total squares or cubes in there. So 168, in this case, square, uh, I'm sorry, cubic feet. So the base area is squared because it's just the area. But when we, we're dealing with volume and we're talking about how much you fill in something, it's cubic units. So that's taking a look at it and to see why volume is the way it is. You're basically packing the figure with unit cubes. And then the actual way you do it mathematically is the length times the width, which is what we did. 14 times 2, which is 28. That's your base area. And then you take the area of the base times the height and you get 168 cubic feet. So I said to be sure to include the units and exponents in your answers. So it's really important that you keep straight that perimeter. So if we're talking about perimeter, the distance around something, it's flat. So the units, if we're talking about feet, it would just be feet. Area is surface area. It covers the surface of something. It's not just fl a flat line, a single line. So that would be square units. And then volume, since you could technically hold it, 
it has depth, it has dimension, it would be cubic units.